Hello, my Poké Padawans, it's Jedi Carter here, bringing you another episode of Mascar Monday. Our opponent today is Joff, also known as Swag Turtle or Juggernauts on Twitter. I don't know which one is his actual name. He's also got a YouTube channel. I will pop a link to those down below. So, as I said, it is Mascot Monday today. So, now I will introduce to you the Pokemon that we are bringing. We have Delibird representing Shady Penguin. We have Entei representing Sacred Fire Nero. We have Azumarill representing Nom Nexus. We have Gengar representing King Nappy. Uh, Garchomp representing uh, Haxodactyl. And we have Milotic representing Mo Moody Pones, if I've said that right. I hope I have, though. I hope I haven't murdered anyone's name. So we've got some big, big names coming to the field today. So it's going to be quite a one for our opponent. Quite a lot of power on this team. Probably the most powerful team I think I've ever had. Question is, can I handle the power? Let's find out, shall we? So we select our mascot team. We're quite excited to be using this team. Oh, our opponent is bringing such an awesome team as well. Now this guy, this guy is known for his clever, clever move sets and his awesome Pokemon sets. So I'm actually really excited to see what these Pokemon are running. Our opponent is bringing Lunatone, uh, Sigilic, Crocodile, Throw. War Turtle. Oh, he was talking about this earlier on, uh, earlier this week on Twitter. Uh, we were saying about a uh, set for War Turtle, and I mentioned that the only set I thought it could really run was the defensive Rapid Spin set. And he said that he'd go away and give it a bit of a think. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what this War Turtle does. And he's also got that Saber Eye. Now, whether that's going to be the usual uh, prank, prankster set, I don't know. We'll have to find out. So I've only got 45 seconds left, so I better stop rambling. He's probably going to open with Sableye. So my best response is probably Nexus, the Azumarill. So I'm going to open with Nexus. Now, on Nexus, I've actually got a Belly Jet set. I don't know whether that is typically Nexus's set for his Azumarill. So if it's not, then feel free to tell me off and smack my little four sensitive fingers. So here we go. This battle's gonna be exciting. I'm really looking forward to this. As I said, I hope I can do the uh, do the Pokétubers justice for using their mascots. We've actually done really well in this series. Oh, the Lunatone. Not bad. Well, that's pretty decent for us because we've got the Waterfall. It's probably gonna try and set up Cosmic power? Is it though? Should we go for a belly drum? He might switch out there in the water move. We've got the citrus, so I could get the belly drum off. I'm gonna go for it. Go for the belly drum. I realise this is probably the best chance to get rid of Psychic. Psychic? Psychic, okay. How do we take that? Pretty well. So there's the belly drum. We could probably kill this thing with an aqua jet now. So maximum attack. There's the citrus. No, we can just go for that Aqua Jet. We can Aqua Jet for days. So don't recall him having any priority on his team. His War Turtle might have Aqua Jet, but that's not really going to do much. Oh, the crit as well. A plus six crit. What a kick in the Voltal for our opponent. Really sorry for that, man. Really, really sorry. War Turtle. Oh, it pains me so much to KO this thing so fast. Because I really wanted to see what it would do, but... I don't really want to go for the player off because of that um, recoil. Because I'm down to less than half health. And it's probably going to almost finish us off. Recoil, you know, one hit KO recoil is always really, really brutal. So I'm thinking maybe I should just go for the waterfall. Maybe. <coughs> or the aqua jet. I'm thinking waterfall. I'm gonna go over the waterfall. Haze. Oh, there goes us. There goes our boost. Not bad. Should have gone for the aqua jet. Not bad at all. Such a play. What a play. That was such a play. 
It really, really was. Right, what can we do to you now? What have we got for you? What are you... What, what moves do you have, Mooty? Dragon Pulse, Scald. Okay. Should we bring in Moody? Yeah, we're going to bring in Mooty. Mooty Bones. Milotic. Let's see what this War Turtle wants to do now. I'm so impressed, I really am. The Haze. Not bad at all. Should have just gone for that plus six aqua jet, but I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have taken it out. Because if that thing's got the evil eyes, it's bulky as hell. It really is. Okay, just gonna go for the dragon pulse. It withdraws. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. What to bring it out? Throw. Okay. Bad, not bad. Not bad. There's the dragon pulse. How much will this do? Nothing. Assault vest throw? Is that an assault vest throw? And what do we have for you? Um, not much of anything, to be honest. We could switch into Nappy. We'll just go for... We could switch into Nappy. Is this some of his moves? And go for Sludge Bombs. Or Shadow Ball. Do have anything physical that's super effective against this thing? What have you got, Shady? I can't even remember the moves I put on these guys. No, you've got nothing that's strong. Okay. I'm gonna go into Nappy. And if this thing... I'm gonna see what this thing does, because Nappy's actually got the disable. Just to be safe. Bulk up. That's not good. That's not good at all. Not good at all. I'm gonna disable that bulk up. I don't want him setting up on me. Really don't. Wow, even with all these heavy hitting Pokemon, there really is every chance that I could lose this match because my opponent is just so clever. Okay, disable fails. I don't know the way he brought that war turtle in. I don't like it. So I'm gonna switch back into Milotic, I think. Milotic could take anything that this war turtle throws at me. Maybe he's got bite or crunch. Pretty sure war turtle can learn. I know it can learn bites. The Miracos! Not bad! Not bad at all! I'm gonna go for a skull on this and try and get a burn off. Oh yes, we get the bird! Not even bird. There's the mirror cup. We could take that because we didn't deal that much damage. Leftovers will pretty much heal that up. The bird's gonna do some fair damage to that war turtle now. Seriously though, I love war turtle. I may actually have to steal that set. I'm just gonna go to Dragon Pulse now. He withdraws, okay. He's coming out to throw again. Yeah, there's the throw again. Now, I can't actually remember what set, what ability throw gets. Does it get guts? Because if it does, I'm really glad I didn't use Scald. I don't actually remember. I may have to look it up quickly on my phone. In the meanwhile, we're going to switch out Mooty and we're going to bring back Nappy because he doesn't seem to like Nappy. Maybe he has nothing for him. He withdraws. He obviously expected the switch. Crocodile. Uh oh. Now we've got. I've actually got Focus Blast on Nappy. But the thing is, if that thing's scarfed, it's going to outspeed me and kill me. So. He's clearly going to go for a dark type move. So I'm going to switch back into Nexus, I think. Nexus is down to half health, though. But I don't have any way of recovering any of that health. Nexus is also our best way of getting rid of that Sableye. 
Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Um, I could switch into Entei, but then the Earthquake is a thing. I could switch into Shady, but I don't know where to take a crunch. Do you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go for the Focus Blast and I'm going to pray that that thing is not scarfed. And I'm going to pray that I hit as well. Lots of prayers. We are fast. Oh, we miss! The bulk up. Not bad. Not bad. I thought we were I thought we were gone for sure then. I was honestly expecting the crunch. Okay. Let's risk it for a biscuit. Focus blast again. Oh the double miss! The double miss is real. Nappy's down. Nappy goes down to a plus one crunch. Not bad at all. That really sucks. And the Moxie boost? Plus two now, how are we going to take this thing down? Nexus, you're in. You're in, buddy. Let's get that Aqua Jet off, see what we can do to this Crookedile. He's staying in. I reckon he can take it. Yep. Earthquake. That's going to take us out, isn't it? Yep, Nexus is down to an Earthquake, and that thing goes up to plus three now. Plus three Crocodile on the field. This is not good! What have we got that could take you out now? We would bring Shady in with the Ice Shard. Yep. Shady Penguin coming through. Let's hope this hustle doesn't murder our accuracy too much. Right, Ice Shard. Let's go, Shady! survives. Oh, we avoid! We avoid the stone edge! Come on, Shady, get that ice shard on! I will love you forever, man! I mean, I already love your videos and stuff as it is, but seriously. No, we miss! Ah, oh, that hustle kills our accuracy! Taking a plus three crunch, there's no way we're living that. No way. Ah, oh, we're down. Down! We lost three Pokemon to this crocodile. Now it's a plus four. This is unreal. Oh, but the life ball finishes it off. That's something, I suppose. That thing, though, cost me three Pokemon. It's not good. Ah, now what can I bring in? I'm thinking... Axidactyl. I'm thinking. Still got that... Sableye. I know that the throw is still a thing as well. But I'm expecting that throw to come back. So I'm going to bring in Entei. I pull Entei. Sacred Fire Nero. Oh, the Sableye. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. So he's probably gonna go. Ah, oh, you can't burn us with fire type. Ha 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 ha. So, just gonna go for the sacred fire. Life orb, sacred fire. Calm mind, okay. You go for all the calm minds you like, mate. I'm gonna sacred fire your face off. Can this KO? What it lips? It lips. Leftovers as well. Is this a bulky Sableye? Just gonna go over the Sacred Fire again, there's reason not to. Yep, no reason not to. Maybe we're gonna try and go for the Desti Destiny Bomb or something. But with the Prankster, they should've gone first, unless it's not Prankster. Wow, not bad. Sacred Fire and were coming through. The War Turtle, okay. The burned war turtle. This is a job for my Lonic, I believe. Maybe he's gonna double switch though. Maybe he'll double switch. Maybe I should call his bluff and go for the sacred fire again. Should I? I don't think war turtle can take us out. It's 
Should I expect the double switch into throw, expecting the melodic to come back? Or should I switch into melodic and be safe? See, melodic can't do anything to throw, really. And it's just going to give it a free turn to set up the bulk up. I could switch into Haxodactyl, but there's always the risk that this thing's going to run the Ice Punch. Or the Ice Beam. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Really don't want to lose Entei to a War Turtle. Can War Turtle really do that much damage to an Entei? I don't think he's got any priority left. He's got City left, Throw, and War Turtle left. City left doesn't have priority. Does Throw get Mac Punch? I have no idea. Internet, you are my friend. Tell me what throw can do. See, I don't even know where the throw gets guts. I was supposed to be looking at this earlier on, wasn't I? Oh, what? The turn time ran out? Oh, I got the iron head. Oh. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you actually kidding? See, that's what I get. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Okay, clearly he wanted to stay in and see what we could do. Alright, switching out to Melodic then. Which I thought he'd predict last turn, honestly. That was my fault for letting the turn run too long. That was silly. Silly Jedi. Skull, okay. We can take that. We can take that. Please no burn. Please no burn. No burn. Throw. Where are you, Throw? Where are you, Throw? Where are you? Yes, he does get guts. So we don't really want to be scolding it, then. So I'm just going to go for a Dragon Pulse, I think. It's the best thing I can go for. He's going to switch into the Throw next turn, isn't he? Oh, the burn. The last turn of that War Turtle's little life and it burns my melodic. That is unfortunate. I mean, we do have the recovery. But that burn's going to be a nuisance. It doesn't do anything to our power because this melodic's special attack is but it's built as a wall. But not a physical one. And I'm not going to burn this thing. No way. I'm gonna... He might take the free turn to set up. Honestly, I don't have anything else. I'm gonna switch into Entei again. I did that, that stupid turn though where I took all that damage from War Turtle Scald. Well, because I let the timer run down. Is he gonna just attack? He might just attack. No, he's gonna bulk up. Okay. Okay. Just gonna go for the sacred fire here then. Sacred fire. Coming through. Stab life orb damage. Throw is one bulky little um Pokemon though. Pretty sure he'll take this fairly well. Yep. Is he gonna bulk up again? Circle throw. That's gonna KO us. So that should give us the choice who to come in with. I think our best choice is Axidactyl. Now Axidactyl is actually choice. Which could actually work against us. It's a rough skin scarf jump. Do I go for the outrage or the earthquake? Thinking the earthquake. See, if I go for the earthquake, he might decide to switch out into Swagglyph, which will negate that thing's plus one bulk up boost. And then if I take a turn to switch back to Garth Tom, please he's just he's just gonna get that bulk up, up again, isn't he? Don't let the timer run out again, Jedi! 
that would be silly. The choice we have is Outrage or Earthquake. I think they have the same power. Do I want to lock myself into Outrage? Screw it. Outrage. Let's see what this does. Wow, decent damage. Rest? Are you kidding? Chesto Berry. Is it Resto Chesto? No, it's not Resto Chesto. Okay. A crit would be nice. Oh, the sleep talk? Not bad. Sleep talk throw? Wow, that does so much damage, but the rough skin coming through. Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. We can actually go for the stab scold on this thing because it's asleep, so there's no risk of burning it. Wait a minute, the sleep trigger on guts? I don't think it does. That's decent damage considering my Lorik has no offensive investment. So there's the circle throw. Wow, the crit! So here comes Scarf Jump again, so straight back into the Outrage. Can we take this out before it wakes up again? Probably gonna go for the rest this turn, isn't he? Predicting the wake up. Oh! Oh, the crit! The crit coming through! Haxodactyl taking down that mighty throw! Wow, this guy, like I said, he has some crazy sets. I mean, kudos to him. I mean, standard sets on this, on, on these Pokemon, they, they wouldn't stand up to stuff like Life Orb Entei and such. Ah, the confusion. Confusion is real. Ice Beam. Well, that's going to take down Haxodactyl, but that's not a problem. We can finish, we can finish up with Melodic. The crit as well. Sigilyph effectively Ice Beaming Haxodactyl straight in the Vault Orbs. Oh, but why can't we take this? Who's faster? Who's faster? Do I... Can that thing recover? Can that thing recover HP? Because if it can, I won't need to go through the recovery room myself. It can't freeze us, so that's good. But could it get the T-Bolt? Oh, I have no idea. Or do I just go for the Scold? Hoping I'm faster. Oh, I think Sigilyph is faster than Melodic. Is it? I have no idea. And if I take the time to check... Ah, oh, come on, Jedi. Be fast with the internet. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Melodic. Melodic. What is your base speed, Melodic? I need to know. 40 seconds left on my turn time. Okay, 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 okay. My Lodic, where are you on this list? My Lodic, 81 base speed. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go for the safe recovery. Psychic, he is faster. Can we take it? Can we take it? We take it! Getting the HP back and the leftovers. The burn's gonna take a little chunk off. Now we should be sound. Should be able to take whatever this thing can dish out. So now I'm just gonna go for... I'm gonna go for a scold now. 
I'm pretty sure we could take whatever this thing does to us. Oh, the air slash. Don't flinch. Don't flinch. Don't flinch. So there's the skull taking down Sigily. And that is GG. GG. That was such a game. It really was. Wow, 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 wow. Love that game so much. Really did. I'm going to save that video just in case something happens to the recording. I really hope it doesn't though. What a game. What a game, really. This guy. The plays. The movesets. Honestly. Just wow. I just have no words. I really don't. Honestly, as I said, I'll pop this guy's links down in the description. Check him out for real. He's such a pro player. He really, really is. I cannot. There are no words strong enough to praise him. There really aren't. That was such a good game. It really was. Um, so, yeah, that was Mascot Monday. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I did. Wow, I bought a map. So I'm going to be buzzing on that for the rest of the night now. Um, yeah, so leave a like to let me know you enjoyed that. Uh, leave a comment down below because I'd love to hear feedback from all of you Poke Padawans. And I do always reply to all those comments you leave. Subscribe to my channel for more videos as I bring one every day, or most days anyway. Uh, unless I'm busy with streams or stuff. Thank you for watching. Stay cool, everyone. Thank you for all your support. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.